a dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Six Enugu Labour Party lawmakers defect to PDP. Moving on, we have Labour Party recommend automatic ticket for OB and OT. All right, my people, welcome back to this wonderful channel as we bring you back to back updates and information. As it is hot, in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to turn notification bell so that anytime we drop our news, now you could be the first to watch. All right, my people, you know, say for this country, as they they break, now so to read in Africa. Well, no vest. I got to bring you that the Tory one after the other. I see they come our way. Now the matter what don't carry call given a visit. Six members of the Enugu State House of Assembly elected under Labour Party LP have formally defected to People Democratic Party PDP, which is the ruling party in their state. My people not be small matter. The letter of the defection of the six lawmakers were read through in a plenary by the Speaker of the House, Uche Ugo. They cited incessant crisis and leadership tonsil beveling the Labour Party as reasons for their defection. They said that they decided to join the ruling party in order to help the state governor Peter Mba achieve his campaign promises. <laughs> the defectors include member representing Ibu Eze North constituency one, EGK Eze, member representing Soka East, Pius Ezugo, member representing Enugu South Rural, Obiajulu Ugo. Others are member representing Oji River, Osita Eze, member representing Ibue Kitsi West, William Amuka, and member representing Enugu North, Oba John Sinani. With this development, the People Democratic Party now has an overwhelming majority of 80 members, while the Labour Party has been reduced to six members, my people. <laughs> when we are ready to vote for competency, not party, that is when we will receive the change we want. Less contamination, the better for Labour Party. Honestly, it's so disappointing to see elected officials prioritizing personal gain over the constituents who put their trust in them. Loyalty should extend beyond party lines. That is what I believe. They should make a law that mandates lawmakers who differed from one party to another to vacate their seats as they were elected on the premise of that previous party. It's a shame the way our politicians move anyhow. Right now, I think the Labour Party should declare that seat vacant because it was on the platform of Labour Party they got elected. So, Labour Party member must occupy that seat if measures like this isn't implemented. What we are going to see in the coming years will be disturbing as politicians will campaign and win on that one platform and move to the ruling party of their state. It's a shame that they don't stay one place. My people don't be smart in it. Be like everybody they put face for where ego belly fit them. <laughs> Anywhere belly face. That which I see. Either they are conditioned or they defeated to labor to win election. I feel so. As it stands now, we have to vote for individuals. Not vote for party. Many hide under party to manipulate. Put your PDP money small. Labor although they give shishi now. <laughs> I think most of all these people use Peter will be glory to win election now. They are going back to the same PDP. Next election, if they don't give them tickets, they will look for another party to move. <laughs> this is the reason why Nigeria is still behind. They use the Labour Party platform to win those seats. Honestly, this constitution has to be amended regarding this matter. You can only go to another party as a person, like MT, not as someone who is carrying the people mandate and votes. When people vote for you under any party, until you finish the service, you can't change any party. They should amend that. I can't believe people still trust politicians. They are always following their stomach infrastructure. I wonder how much they were promised. The Labour Party emerged as the minority or the, let me just say majority members in the Enugu House of Assembly. The governor brought them over to have the majority as his party member in order to carry out things the way he wants. This is Nigeria politics for you. Nigeria politics is characterized by selfishness. People be like, say, now the ones we enter to win election, the fake ones we enter to win election, are the ones going out? Like, say, now them all. So, guys, I could like, we can know what you're thinking about this matter in the comment section. I could like, hear from you now. Let's keep the conversation live in our comment section. Moving on to the next one. Ahead of the 2027 general election, the Labour Party has recommended reserving the presidential ticket for former Anambra State Governor Peter Obi. The party also won the governorship ticket to be reserved for Iowa State Governor Alex Uti, based on what they describe as the sterling performance in office. This was disclosed in a communique issue after the party national convention held in Newey, Anambra State on Wednesday. Based on the antecedent of the presidential candidate before, during and after the 2023 general election, it was recommended that the 2027 
presidential ticket of the party be solely reserved for His Excellency Mr. Peter Gregory Obi, the national leader of the party. The communicate with that. Furthermore, the convention in section reviewed the ongoing development and performance of the governor in Abia State, His Excellency Dr. Alex Oti, and passed a vote of confidence in him, and they have recommended the 2027 Abia State governorship ticket of the party. That that ticket should be reserved for Dr. Alex Uti. Obi was the party presidential candidate in 2023 general election. Having pulled 6.1 million votes, the former governor trade behind Atikwa Bwaka of the People Democratic Party, who read in 6.9 million to come second, and Bola Metunobu, who eventually emerged the winner of the king contested poll with 8.7 million votes. <laughs> Do you guys think that is a very bad news to APC? Not at all. This is a very good news because if Obi contest with Labour Party platform again, I think that the same thing that happened in 2023 general election will still happen in 2027. That's my thought because Obi will be beating black and blue even though he got it. <laughs> the same thing that happened during that time will still happen again. I think they should look for any other alternative. So as it stands now, we're not sure saying Miloko go give Peter Obi. They win in Mahmood. <laughs> Obi shouldn't contest in that party or maybe he should just look for somebody that is even stronger met with him as of rights because emotion and politics eh, is somehow why can't we just embrace democracy yes they are good doing well but make it open for others to contest with them that is the truth it's time for us to come together for a better nigeria Ibo and yoruba youths and so many other persons please we have to stop all this you know thing that is happening in this country with a strong coalition we can take back Nigeria from those who strive and to cause chaos in the country. So the Moses are advising Peter will be that if he can go back to PDP, that with LP is impossible for him to win. But with PDP, he can merge with Atiko or some other persons. <laughs> to make you no go wasting time for election again. And the same thing where President Bola Bentulubu do go see what happen again. They are saying that they are very sure that this time around that he's going to fail. That the votes will be lower than the previous election. Because it's obvious that some that voted for him the last time will not vote for him due to the toxicity of his so-called obedience. <laughs> My people don't be small matters. So guys, I go like me. I know to not think about this in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying with us. But if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page yet, please do also feel free to like and subscribe and also share. Don't forget the notification bell to get notified when else we drop a video. Because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the general latest news happening on social media. To all our amazing subscribers, thank you all so much for staying to us. To all our viewers, Thank you all so much for staying to us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like, comment, your witness. Stay safe, guys. Bye.